Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. An order for worship in the evening begins on page 109 in the prayer book. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket but on a lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men so that they may see the good you do and give glory to your Father in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are entering across a threshold at the end of this week Many of us who have been inside will be going outside. And more than was the case in our former normal, we will be seen to believe what we believe. Going to the grocery store with or without a mask, going to the inside portion of a restaurant, going shopping, going about your daily life, you will be a witness to others. It is important that you make decisions in advance as to what your values expect of you, because it is not a great sin to wear a mask or not to wear a mask. It is a great sin to live inadvertently when you are being observed. Most of you listening to this tonight are practicing Christians, and you are, to someone, the only Christian they know. To some others, the most Christian person that they know. You are an example. Whether you want to be or not, you are observed constantly. And you yourself may be copacetic about being judged, but it's not just you that's being judged, because Christ is being judged through you. If you are foolish, or if you are cruel, or if you are kind, or if you are wise, you enhance or besmirch the reputation of the gospel. And this world needs the gospel more than ever. So before you go out the door, think, pray, and then check that you are acting in accordance with your faith so that whoever looks at you sees Jesus in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, creator of the changes of day and of night, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasions of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in the coming night. Keep us from every sin, every evil, and every fear, for you are our light and salvation, and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, tonight and forevermore. Amen. Good night.